All right, my fellow Capricorn friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your monthly horoscope for September 2020. We've got Mercury moving to signs. We've got Venus moving to sign. We've got the Mars retrograde happening. Patience, patience, patience. It's not a new thing for my Capricorns, right? It's not a new thing to be patient and slow in the process. All right, and this is just making sure that we're planning each foot properly, each step properly before we, you know, we take the. This is not uncommon energy for the Capricorn. However, uh, being Mars is our motivation. Mars exalted in Capricorn. Mars is a square over there in Aries. Uh, the fire sign, fire sign saying, let's go now. You know, and Capricorn says, wait a minute, we're not done. The, the, why take the meal out of the oven if it's not cooked yet? <laughs> Right. Uh, and so Mars retrograde is just like, yeah, let's be more methodical about this. Let's think these things through. And this is happening in the fourth house. OK, home, family, our relationships with the family, the mother, the mother energy and Capricorn, the father energy, um, as well as with nature. Have we been getting out into nature? Things are changing. The seasons are changing. We're going to hit autumn here in a couple of weeks. Are we making sure that we're connecting our roots, right? Connecting our roots into nature. Now, let's, let's, let's get into it. Let me show you your chart here. So, on the 5th, Mercury, now look at this, 27 degrees, 27 degrees sextile. All right, Mercury on the 5th is going to enter your 10th house, career, public image. Really powerful, okay? Libra, balance, bringing balance to the career, bringing balance to insight and in how you view, how you're being viewed, okay? Venus, entering your eighth house, about shared resources. What's mine and what's yours is what's ours and really valuing the things that you have with other people, okay? Whether this, this could be a, excuse me, this could be a building, you know, you, you have a business together with somebody or something's going on here. Um, there's great movement as these two together, uh, joint together through water and earth move to fire and air. Okay. Mercury about bringing that balance in the career and Venus bringing that passion and love and desire to join forces, to create something bigger than oneself. Okay. So whatever that is, it's about joining forces right now. Uh, and, 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 uh, accumulatively being greater than we could be if we were doing this on a solo journey, okay? So that's the fifth and the sixth. On the ninth here, Mars do, 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 retrograde, okay? It's going to take its slow time going back, 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 back till about November 11th, I think it is, all right? It's in no rush going backward. And again, our plan of action going slow. This is going to be a lack of motivation, okay? But you have something different this year. So the last time Mars retrograded was in Aquarius, back into Capricorn, where, where Mars is exalted. Mars is exalted in your sign, right? And that was back in like February through April of 2018. Somewhere around there, okay? And... The main, you know, is a very different energy every time it enters a different sign. But the, the, the bonus, the bonus, the benefit of this particular one is that we have Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter in your first house. About self. This is about self. This is a journey about loving self. Gratitude and happiness. Gratitude and happiness. Okay? It's what you deserve. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be bountiful. You deserve abundance. Okay, no matter what's going on, you deserve abundance and joy of self. Okay, so you have all of these things and Pluto's changing the perspective of how we're viewing the world, how the world's viewing us, Mercury's entering the 10th house. You know, so you have strict Saturn and, and Pluto was there last time, but Jupiter wasn't. Okay, so Saturn and Pluto or Saturn and Jupiter were not in Capricorn the last time that we had the Mars retrograde, okay? So Saturn is going to be staying on top of you during this. And Jupiter is saying more, okay? What, is that, what does that mean? That means Mars retrograde is a complete lack of motivation, okay? It means we're, we, when we already are feeling, eh, we feel even more, oh, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, there's going to be times where, you know, I mean, you're the Capricorn, you're the leader of the Zodiac, you're the top of the chain, okay? Capricorn and Leos are the leaders, all right? Not saying the other ones aren't, but in the sense of the Zodiac, you're, you're kind of the, you're the top, you're the mountain goat that's willing to go the distance and go, you know, to great heights every single day to get what you need done. And there's nothing stopping the goat, the greatest of all time, to get what it needs, okay? So Saturn is staying on top of us and saying, let's be strict with ourselves, let's be stern, let's be disciplined. When we see other people dropping the ball, and Scorpio kind of has this too, this is our time to rise up. This is our time to rise. And Mercury entering the 10th house of career public image, how people view you, okay? That's great. For those 22 days, Mercury's in the 10th house and where the sun's going to be on September 22nd, moving into your 10th house, okay? Really, really powerful because when everybody else is dropping like flies, dropping the ball, you're here saying, I don't have any energy. I don't have any strength. But the job has to get done, and I'm going to step up and do it. And you will be seen, and you will be valued, and you will be recognized, and you will be praised, and you will be looked at, and you're setting an example for how others can be during this time. Woo! Okay? Really, 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 really powerful. So this is going to happen for the next couple of months. Okay? Uh, so enjoy that ride you know you might be picking up more slack from other people try not to get too uh you know aggravated mars can be an aggravated sign or mars is an aggravated planet in the sign of aries which can be fiery and go you know if you remember the beginning of the year when mark when mercury was in when aries when mercury was in aries and it was just like oh my god you know you'd say one thing to somebody and they could take it the wrong way and so it's just like okay we don't want our actions, you know, if, if we're picking up the slack from other people, you know, do the work. We're not being martyrs here and saying, oh, I did this and I did this. Just just do it. And that's that's the GOAT's way, just getting it done. It's the Nike way, brought to you by Nike. Hey. Okay. <laughs> On the 17th, we've got a new moon in the ninth house about philosophy and education and religion and travel. Okay. And this is what? This is the mutable sign of Virgo sister earth sign okay it's about change philosophies change religions change there's about two thousand different versions of the bible <laughs> okay uh i have no idea it's 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 mad okay uh, things change throughout our times and this new moon is a new beginning about this change that you're bringing and about the philosophies that you've been studying here with the sun and mercury in the ninth house Okay, so that new be new moon, new beginning here, and the philosopher, you know, it's happening at what 25 degrees, so it will be just slightly um, op uh, in opposition here to Neptune. And this is about dreams and ambition and creativity here in your third house, about information. Okay, and this is this group information, and is saying, yeah, you know, if I want to obtain my dreams, I have to be focused on you know what knowledge that I am going toward. Okay, there is there is. If I sit down and watch the Kardashians, if I sit down and watch a documentary about astrology, you know, if I sit down and watch something about numerology or something that interests me, you know what I mean? It's like where we're putting our time and energy right now, what we're, we're choosing to lock on to to learn makes a huge difference. So if we're spending our time a little bit more uh, uh, educating ourselves, and that's what, that's what Jupiter wants us to do, is to expand, expand ourselves, expand our knowledge, expand who we are as a whole, right? So really, really powerful. And then uh, on the 22nd, the sun is going to move into Libra, your 10th house, again. So the work that you're doing when you're picking up the slack of other people, now you really start to shine toward the end of the month, okay? Really starting to shine. Maybe it's time for a raise. You might get it. You might get that raise because they see your ball of light. They see what you have to offer. They see that you are an unstoppable force. All right? So very, very cool energy coming up here this month. And then on the 27th, we've got Mercury leaving your 10th house, entering your 11th house, which is all about community, right? Community, technology, the water in the air that allows electricity to flow, the 11th house, community. I mean, that's the Aquarian thing. Where's Aquarius? 
<laughs> anyway, uh, so Mercury entering your 11th house, meaning you're taking this knowledge that you've, you've gained, okay? And you're really applying it. You're, you're getting people together. You're rallying the troops. You're doing whatever you can and, uh, to, to try to value these last days of summer, uh, the, the beginning of autumn, and getting people together and really connecting, you know, it's like, don't, you know, we're busy with our careers. We're busy making moves happen. We're busy picking up other people's slack. Let's not be so busy that we forget the people that we love. Let's not be so busy that we forget our community, you know, that we forget to reach out. All right. And sometimes when we're down and we wish someone would reach out to us, this is again, we're picking up the slack and, and saying, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to reach out to so-and-so, and I'm going to get the troops together, right? Very, very powerful month. A huge opportunity to forge ahead. Again, when other people are slacking, you have the, the ambition to lead the way and to show people, just to by leading by example. Look, we all feel this way. We're all feeling this right now. But we got stuff to do. <laughs> all right? Have a, a most amazing September, my friends, and we will see you tomorrow for the dailies. Much love, much appreciation.